Good day everyone, my name is Vanaka and welcome to my free to play beginner clue scroll guide. In this video I will cover everything you need to know about beginner clue scrolls and if they are worth doing for you. Also, this video is completely Iron Man proof, which means I will also cover strategies for restricted accounts. Before we begin I would like to address that I make RuneScape videos every week about both free to play and pay to play. I make a bunch of different content such as Iron Man series, guides, theory videos and more. Feel free to subscribe if you are interested, so you'll never miss a thing. Alright then, so let's get right into it. Beginner clue scrolls in free to play. What are we going to discuss in this video? First of all, why complete beginner clue scrolls? Then the rewards and uniques? Requirements and recommendations? The best ways to obtain them? The ultimate free to play beginner clue scroll map? And then some final tips and tricks. Why complete beginner clue scrolls? So, you kill a goblin and you suddenly find this treasure map on the ground. Searching for treasure is usually exciting, right? Well, let's see why beginner clue scrolls may be worth doing for you. Number 1. Money making. Like I said, clue scrolls are treasure maps with rewards scattered all across Gilenor. If you're lucky, you can get your hands on some great unique items worth a lot of money. As an Iron Man, you won't be able to sell those, but you might still make some money if you get the right stuff. Second, Uniques. Where regular accounts normally sell their Uniques, Iron Man may collect them for keeps. Since it's not possible to buy these as an Iron Man, it is the only way to obtain them. So if you've always wanted to have the cute shoulder parrot, I wish you good luck. Even some Ultimate Iron Man may hold on to some nice rares, although they have to make sure the items don't take up too much inventory space. And then third, High Scores and Emote. If money or unique items can't motivate you to complete beginner clue scrolls, maybe the high scores or special emote will. At the completion of 600 beginner clue scrolls, you will unlock the Explore emote. This is simply a cosmetic reward, but you can show off your love for doing beginner clue scrolls this way. There's also an official high score that tracks all of your completed beginner clues. As of right now, not even 400 people have achieved the goal of unlocking the Explore emote, so I would say go for it. Rewards and Uniques now trust me, I really want to take you on this clue scroll adventure, but I think it is important to first talk about the rewards in particular. I mean, you want to know exactly what these rewards are, right? So here is a list of all possible clue rewards. The regular items usually go from level 1 to 10 equipment, but don't underestimate their value. Beginner clue scrolls are worth about 5000 gold on average, which may not be much to experienced players, but low level players may actually enjoy these rewards. And here you see a list of all the uniques you can get. Some of them are not worth that much, but if you are lucky, you can get your hands on a shoulder parrot, a pair of mold slippers or a Zamorak skimmeter kit. These rewards will make you a pretty decent amount of GP. As an Iron Man, these rares would be a cool alternative for getting a defense amulet or monk robes. Also, some black items are quite useful such as the black pickaxe or axe. It would be pretty badass to have those. For ultimate Iron Man, there is not much worth keeping. Some Ultimate Iron Man choose to hold on to some cool mole slippers, Jester Cape or Paired just for fashion scape, but they are not best in slot, so in the end these items may not be the way to go. Requirements and Recommendations Before you get into all this clue scroll hunting, you need to know what you require in order to complete them. Luckily, beginner clue scrolls are the easiest tier of clues in the game, so there's not much you need. But let's take a look at this overview. Sometimes when you get a clue, you have to speak to Charlie the Tramp who will then give you a skill challenge. You will then have to complete the task for him in order to get your reward. Skill wise, you need 20 cooking to cook a pike, 20 fishing to catch a trout, 15 mining to mine an iron ore, 15 smithing to smith an iron dagger, and 18 crafting to craft leather chaps. Now if you are an iron man, you will need 25 fishing instead of 20. Because in order to cook a pike, you will then need to fish one first, and this requires level 25. If you are doing a skill challenge, then item wise you need a fishing rod and bait to catch herring or pike, a fly fishing rod and feathers to catch a trout, a pickaxe to mine an iron ore, hammer and iron bar to smith an iron dagger, needle, thread and leather to make leather chaps. In other cases, you will have to perform an emote at a specific location, sometimes alongside wearing specific items, and these are all shown on the screen right now. For emote items you will need a bronze axe, leather boots, gold necklace, gold ring, chef's head, 
and a red cape. Then there are some other items that you may sometimes need. A spade and strange device are needed to locate and dig up hold and cold clues somewhere in Gilenor. And a spade is also needed for digging up treasure maps. So now that I have talked about the requirements, I would also recommend you to prepare a little extra. A very essential part of RuneScape is playing efficiently. Since clue scrolls are located all over Gilenor, it would be useful to have as many teleports available as possible. Teleporting is essential and will save you loads of time. If you want to learn more about all free-to-play teleports, then feel free to check out the link in the description or click on the card that you see on the screen right now. The best ways to obtain a beginner clue scroll. No kidding, there's about a hundred ways for obtaining beginner clue scrolls in free-to-play. Let me give you the top 5 best locations to collect them and why I think these are so good. Number 5. Minotaurs. To kick off this list, you will find yourself a bunch of Minotaurs on the first level of the Stronghold of Security. These are weak, low-level creatures that have a clue scroll drop rate of 1 in 60 but offer more than just clues. They drop so many iron arrows that you can train your range there without having to buy any new ammunition ever. They also drop skull pieces which are incredibly useful to collect because they provide you with teleports to Barbarian Assault. They are untradeable, so this looks like a great way to collect them alongside clue scrolls. Number 4. Moss Giants Moss Giants are great to kill for beginner clue scrolls because the drop rate is 1 in 45, but they drop more than just clues, just like Minotaurs. They are great to train combat on and also have a chance to drop a mossy key, which gives access to one Bryophyta kill. Bryophyta always drops a clue scroll when killed and usually gives valuable loot. Number 3. Hill Giants Just like Moss Giants, Hill Giants are a great source for beginner clue scrolls. They have a drop rate of 1 in 50 but are much easier to kill than Moss Giants, making it quicker to obtain clue scrolls and giant keys. Giant keys are used to kill Obor the Hill Giant boss, which drops a clue scroll 100% of the time, just like Bryophyta. Number 2. Dark Wizards Don't underestimate their low levels, because Dark Wizards are stronger than they look. But they have fairly low HP and are easy to kill because they have poor defense. Level 7 Dark Wizards have a 1 in 50 drop rate of clue scrolls, where level 20 Dark Wizards have a 1 in 35 chance. But most importantly about this creature is that it drops loads of magic runes, making it a great way to make money apart from the clue scrolls. Especially Iron Man will enjoy the nature and law rune drops. Number 1. Goblins There's always a number 1 for a reason. Goblins are by far the easiest creature to collect beginner clue scrolls from, since they only have 5 HP and have a 1 in 64 drop chance on clues. They can't really harm you either because their max hit is 1, so hunting these should result into a decent amount of clues per hour. The ultimate free-to-play beginner clue scroll map. Okay. Now we know the requirements for completing beginner clues and where to obtain them, but now the question is, how are we going to complete them? I have spent hours on making the ultimate free-to-play beginner clue scroll map to show you every single beginner clue solution. You can open the map yourself too by clicking on the link I left in the description and comment section of this video. It works as follows. Let's say you get a clue and it says, always walking around the castle grounds and somehow knows everyone's age. Now the first thing you do is open the document link that I put in the description. Here you look for your specific clue scroll. For the example that I just mentioned, we need to look at the cryptic clue type. This clue is listed as number 1 in the clue type section, so this means cryptic 1. Now take a look at the clue scroll map. Here you see that cryptic clues have been given the color yellow. So now all you need to do is look for number 1 on the yellow color and voila, there is your clue solution. So let's do another one. I open a clue and get This anagram reveals who to speak to next. Carpet Ahoy. Now first, look up Carpet Ahoy in a document. It turns out to be anagram 2. Anagrams are blue on the map. So look for blue 2 and here you go. Your clue scroll solution is the apothecary. If you are doing a hot and cold clue scroll, you can't know immediately where your clue is located on the map. But what you can do is walk one step in every direction and click on the strange device to check if it becomes warmer. If it does, simply look at where you are standing right now and check the map for all possible locations in that direction. Also, a beginner clue scroll can have a minimum of 1 and maximum of 3 steps. However, there's only a 10% chance of completing your clue on the first step, so prepare yourself for multiple steps most of the time. 
final tips and tricks. Now here's a tip. To complete your clue scrolls efficiently, I would suggest making a tab in your bank that covers every single requirement for any clue. In this tab, you include all required clue scroll items, teleports and perhaps even energy potions. So when you get a clue, you can grab everything you need in a matter of seconds without having to think about what you bring. Of course, this doesn't work if you are an ultimate Iron Man. In this case, I would recommend to drop the clues that require the items you don't have. Another one, do your clue scroll as soon as you get it. When you have a clue scroll in your possession, you cannot obtain another one. Once the clue is completed, you can however keep your casket without opening it for a reward and get a new clue. This way, you can stack up on caskets. Then last but not least, try to combine doing clue scrolls with stuff that is actually useful to you. I already talked about different monsters in free to play you should kill for clues and why. Alright then, we have now come to an end of this guide but I hope it was useful to you. I know that most people know how to solve beginner clue scrolls because they are not that difficult, but for newer players this guide may actually come in very handy. If you still have questions about clue scrolls, simply ask me about it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then feel free to leave a like and possibly even subscribe to my channel. This would be much appreciated guys. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye bye.